Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Raising Reef. I'm Rob Shaw and today we're talking about feeding the reef tank. So when it comes to feeding a reef tank, it can be hard to know exactly how much to feed, how often to feed and what to feed. So I'm going to just give you a rundown of what I feed my tank and you can use that as a basis to work out what you should be feeding yours. So when it comes to feeding my reef tank, because I've dosed phytoplankton and I have a refugium, there is a lot of natural food going around the system almost continuously. On top of that it only needs a little bit of supplemental food from me and on a daily basis that comes in the form of a flake food. I have it set up on an um, auto feeder which goes off twice a day at about 11 o'clock and I believe 2 o'clock and that provides a small amount of flake food to supplement their natural diet that they're getting. The flake food that I use is Ocean Nutrition Primary Flakes. It's a great food and it's made with a lot of natural ingredients that would make up a natural diet on the reef anyway. So in addition to this daily feed, I feed the tank once a week with some frozen mice shrimp. I also add some phytoplankton and some reefroids by polylabs. This takes care of all the nutritional needs for my coral and my fish and everything seems to be doing quite well on it. So let's make up some food and feed the tank. So as you can see here, in the middle we've got the Ocean Nutrition Prime Reef Flake that I feed on a daily basis. Just to the left of that you've got the reef roids that I have once a week along with the frozen mysis shrimp and the other side is some new era marine pellets that I use to pop a couple into the refugium to help sustain the life in there and I also feed those to my reef lobster and some of the larger LPS corals appreciate a few of these pellets every now and again when they're open for feeding to aid in their nutrition. So once a week I scoop out a little bit of water with my trusty Ribena cup and I put all the food that I'm going to defrost and feed back to the tank into that. So first of all I'll chuck some mice shrimp in. This is the mice shrimp that I use, um, it's just the one that's readily available to me. It comes in a blister pack and you can just pop the blister packs out and use what you need. I only have four fish so I don't need to use a whole a whole cube, this is quite a lot of food for my tank, so I will cut one of these into four and transfer it into a little Tupperware box that I keep in the freezer. But when it comes to feeding time, I can just grab a piece that's big enough for my reef and pop that in. The rest will go back in the freezer, and that's that. Reefroids. Food for my corals. I will feed this once a week and what I do is I take about that much, about a quarter of a teaspoon and I'll pop that in as well. Lastly for this weekly feed I will take some phytoplankton out of my fridge that I recently harvested I will suck up about 10 mil and add that into the mix as well. I'll give it a good stir up. Once the mysis shrimp has completely dissolved or completely thawed out, then I can feed it to my tank. So now that all the food is uh, defrosted and ready to feed to the tank, it's simple as pouring it in. So when the food goes in, as you can see, the fish get really excited and they grab as much food as they can. And at this time I'll take a pinch of the New Era marine pellets and I will pop them in the refugium uh, to feed Bob the Lobster. 
As you can see here, Bob scurries out to grab what he can before scurrying back to his little burrow. It's a brief glimpse, but it makes you appreciate seeing him all the more. So I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, share it if you're so inclined, enjoy feeding your reef tank, and until next time, take it easy.